I love driving a manual transmission, a stick shift. It's just exhilarating, it's fun to drive. I like the control that you feel that you have. It's it's interesting sometimes, I've had a stick shift for a long time. I, I'm, I'm driving a little Mazda 3 right now. I've had a Subaru Outback that had a stick shift. Old Toyota FJ40 Land Cruiser, a stick shift. And my first car was a VW Bug. But uh, it's interesting when, when uh, I'm giving somebody a ride and they've not been around a manual transmission and I'll find them kind of staring at me watching my hands and feet work work the gears I just it's just not something I think about because it becomes automatic to you you don't really have to think about it you don't have to talk and think okay what gear am I in and where do I need to throw that lever because it becomes so automatic you want that to be the case for for any of your movements that you do regularly whether it's a squat or a lunge or the way that you throw martial artists will repeatedly do the same motions again and again and again to block hit and punch and kick so that it becomes so intuitive and automatic that they don't really have to think about it when a threat comes their way. You wanna apply that same principle to what you do on a regular basis, whether you're picking up your grandkids or it's a sport that you enjoy, you wanna do enough repetition of it um, that it becomes automatic. Now going back to martial arts, um, or going back to learning a stick shift. Um, you often wanna start off in a parking lot or you wanna start off somewhere where you can go slow and repeat that motion again and again and again. But when you start lifting, you just jump right into it and load up. Spend that first set at least doing it slowly with just perfect form. Make sure that when you're squatting that you're not feeling it in your knees at all or your back. You're feeling it nicely in your thighs and in your butt, your glutes. Um, that you know you're loading it the right way because you've just perfected that form. Your brain, I should say, will tend to move your body in the way that you've been doing it the most. Um, and you begin to compensate a lot of times unknowingly and have an abnormality of your posture. And you'll do it in a way that's not as efficient and that with repetition, you'll start to break things down. So slow the pattern down, learn it really well, make sure you're feeling it in the right place. You can't do a movement wrong and feel it in the right place or do it right and feel it in the wrong place and just keep those, those things in mind as you exercise and as you live your life. I'm Benjamin Hill with Mission Physical Therapy.